an interesting morning I prayed for patience and it seems like I'm getting the opposite of that <laughs> so I'm feeling a little bit more agitated this morning for some reason Elliot doesn't want to nap he's very cranky and I think that's making me cranky mm. because I have things I like planned to do today I pray for the ability to be flexible it doesn't always happen that way but we're gonna still try and get stuff done that I wanna get done today, despite kind of a rocky start. The day has so many chances to get better. What's happening today is I have a return. I bought Nick a few things for Father's Day, a couple shirts and some other things. One of the shirts didn't really fit him, so I'm gonna return that. And then I also wanna go grocery shopping, pick up a couple things. I have a fun little crock pot it's not a meal it's a snack it's like a Chex Mix nut and seed snack I guess but in the crock pot and then I'm also going to do lemon ginger immunity boost juice shots so I need to pick up some more lemons for that you want some more okay hoping the rest of the day kind of goes well um, but let's go run some errands Got some errands done, did the return. I just walked into Five Below to give him something to look at, some toys to look at. I never really buy anything. I just allow him to like look. Oh my gosh, so sad. The other day when I was out doing errands, I lost one of Elliot's shoes. I'm not sure where it went, but somewhere between Coles and the car, his shoe has, his shoe is lost. They were shoes I really loved, so I'm bummed about that. I don't know when he took them off, or if he threw it, or, or what happened. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go get some groceries, just a couple things, 
and then head back home. It is hot, guys. It is officially summer consistently in the south and it's 90 degrees every day. Whew, it's a lot. Down by the sea. So here is my quick little grocery haul from Walmart. Most of the stuff was on my list and then there was a few things that weren't on the list. So for instance, none of these were on the list, but they were on clearance and it's a great protein pasta. So I got all three. I mean, all of the boxes were dented and that's why they were on clearance, but red lentil protein pasta. And then I also got this that was on clearance. I want to make my own jam and jelly, but for the time being, I picked this up because it sounded really yummy. Super glue. I need this. There's multiple things that need super gluing. So got that and then we needed this. It wasn't on my list, but it was something that we needed because Elliot has been able to unlatch our crawl space that's outside. And so we need to lock that up just so he's not getting into the crawl space randomly. So I did get the pumpkin seeds. These are the only options that they had, but this is for the little trail mix that I'm gonna make today, hopefully. Um, another can of olives because I think I'm gonna make a pasta salad today or tomorrow. We'll see how much energy I have today, um, but something that Nick can take to work. I needed some crackers because we have some leftover goat cheese that we had some yesterday and ran out of our crackers, so I just needed to pick up a box of crackers, and this was the cheapest one. <laughs> These weren't on the list, but they were on a pretty good deal, and Nick likes to make like a certain, I think it's like a lemony pesto pork chop, so these can go in the freezer for when he wants to make that meal again. And then I got some cherub tomatoes, bananas, one red onion, one yellow onion, and then the bag of lemons for the lemon ginger juice. So there is my little Walmart haul. little snack mix. This is what it looks like. This will be a really nice thing for Nick to also take to work as like a snack. I'm substituting canola oil for avocado oil. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more than what the recipe calls for just because I think I have a little bit more ingredients than what it's calling for. I'm kind of an eyeball it chef. Smoked paprika. Dijon mustard. Worcestershire sauce. And we got cumin. Garlic powder. And then cayenne pepper. This is gonna be a little bit of a spicy mix. I'm also gonna add some salt. And some pepper. Pistachios and pumpkin seeds. We're 
gonna do the quicker method. Cook covered on high for one hour and then you stir every 20 minutes. After that, transfer it to a baking sheet and kind of let it cool on the baking sheet for, it says, let it cool for two hours. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. All right, I am gonna be working on a little gift package for one of my friends. Actually, she is also a YouTuber and some of you guys probably know her. Um, I can't. I'm all over the place. Yeah, so I'm setting up this little gift box for her, but it's Becca here on YouTube. Her channel is Far Away Distance, and I was able to meet her last summer. We stayed with them on our road trip. We were passing through Illinois, so. Anyway, she is pregnant as well, and it's just so fun to be pregnant at the same time as your friends. And this is their first baby. She's pregnant with a little girl, which is so fun and sweet. I bought one of the things off of her registry. This is just a little bamboo hairbrush set. And then I'm also gifting her this book that I suggested in my last vlog um, by my friend Heather Expectant, Cultivating a Vision for Christ-Centered Pregnancy. I also sent one of these to Casey, another YouTube friend. I've met so many fun YouTube friends. I absolutely love these other Christian women online. So anyways, I got her the little brush set. I'm gonna send her this book. I thrifted this super cute little girl's outfit. I have no idea if this is her style of clothing for babies, but since I have a boy and I don't know what this baby is going to be, I would want to keep it for myself, but I know she's having a girl. So I hope she likes this. I just think it's so darn cute. So I'm going to send that. And then I also found this little newborn sleeper. Again, I don't know what her style is, but in the newborn stage, sleepers i didn't even care what they looked like they were in like elliot was in them constantly so i still thought this was really cute everybody has their own unique style but anyways i hope she likes these things so i'm gonna kind of wrap them up and then i have some pink tissue paper so that will make it all cute and girly but yeah i'm just gonna wrap everything like this So it pretty much fits the entire box. I'm gonna write a little card. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at oh, my weakest point Makes a world Here of difference So oh, you Look, make oh, me strong all your animals. Pretty little thing all right, so this is a super random task I wanted to get done today, but I was sitting in Elliot's room and looking up at the uh, ceiling. The ceiling fan is so disgustingly uh, dirty and dusty and that thing is on like all the time, especially in the summer. Today, I am dusting at least this ceiling fan. I'll check to see how the other ones are. It's really bad, so it needs to be done. In the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. You're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, 
you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong Ooh, got some pistachios too Mmm Here we go Yeah Healthy and crunchy. Always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're